Hi everybody, it's Dwayne, developer evangelist at Git Kraken. Today we're going to take a closer look at Git Reset, a way to move back in your history and look at the three main ways people use it, soft, mixed, and hard reset. We're also going to take a look at an example in the command line and in Git Kraken client. Git Reset, like every other Git command, has a lot of options and a lot of subcommands. We're not going to dig into all of them today, but if you want to learn more, I highly recommend going over to git-scm.com and read the full documentation. Today, though, we're going to take a look at the concept of how this works and the three most common modes. So Git Reset, as it says here, resets the current head to a specified state. Head in Git is simply a pointer that tells Git what its point of reference is. Most of the time, it points to another pointer that points to the end of a chain of commits. In this case, main is at the end of this chain of commits. If we wanted to get reset back to 98CA9 here, well, get reset would move head back, but also tell Git that we want to move the end of our chain of commits to that commit. What happens to these other commits and the blobs contained therein? Well, that is the difference between the three modes. All of these require you to tell Git specifically what commit that you want to move back in time to, and then throw those three options there, soft, mixed, or hard. Git reset soft will undo all of the changes between head and the commit, but save all of those changes as staged. So if you want to go add an additional file in, uh, make a small change, this is a very safe way to do it. Uh, it's not going to mess with the index at all and lets you add an additional things to the index and then commit and carry on as expected. Git reset mixed is the default option. If you do not specify any of those modes, Git will assume you want to do a git reset mixed. Again, this is a pretty safe way to go. It does all of the changes between head and the commit, but it saves all those changes as unstaged. So you would need to do a git add and then a git commit to make all of those changes reapply to your history. Git reset hard is a little bit more dangerous. Unlike the other options, it doesn't save those changes between head and that commit. It simply discards them. So if we've moved back, in this case, let's say we move back to the previous commit, it will simply discard that last commit and you'll lose uh, all of those changes that you made in that particular commit. You can also use get reset hard without specifying a commit, and this will undo all of the staged and unstaged changes that you've not yet committed. So if you're working and you realize, well, I don't really want to make this commit now. I've realized I've made an error in judgment and I just need to get rid of all those changes very quickly. Do a get reset hard and it simply discards all of that work in progress. Pretty dangerous, but when used sparingly and in the right circumstances, it can save you a lot of time. So let's take a look at how to use these in the command line and in Git Kraken client. So here I am in VS Code. For today's example, I've decided to use something very, very simple, and that is just simply lines of text to show you how all of this works. So I've done a Git log here in one line, and I'm only showing the last commits here. And I can see that I've added you know, these lines here. So let's say I want to move back to when I added line two and three here. So I added testing two and three. I can do a Git reset. And now I need to decide how I want to do this. Let's try soft first. So dash dash soft, put it in soft mode. And then I want to specify to this commit. So I'm going to copy that and paste it there. I could manually type that. Uh, and let's see what happens if I do a git status. So in my git status, I can see that this file has been added to the index. It's ready to be committed. And that change is still there though. So if I do a quick git diff, uh, and we're going to throw stage to see what is staged. It will see that, okay, I got lines one, two, and three were in a previous commit, but I have added, or it thinks I have added, lines four and five. Now, if we look back at my git log here, there's four and there's five. And sure enough, I reset back to here where lines one and two and three were all previously there. Let's say I do actually want to make this change still. I'll just do a git commit. And let's throw a message of added four and five. Do a git status. And we're in a clean tree. And my changes there persist. So let's take a look at git mixed. So if I do again a git log, here again one line, just looking at my last few commits, 
I can see, uh, yes, I have added four and five, I've added two and three. Let's go all the way back to testing here. I'm gonna copy that commit SHA, and I'm gonna do a git reset mixed. Though I could optionally not throw a mix and it would automatically go into that mode, but for demo purposes, I'm gonna add it. And we're gonna go back to this commit here. And it says unstaged changes after reset. So if I do a git status really quick, I can see that, yes, I have a modified file. And let's go ahead and do a git diff here. And it says, all right, well, there's line one, which I know I did in testing, but line two, three, four, and five, well, those have been added now. So if I'm gonna make those commits, I need to do a full on git add, and I'm gonna do a dot cheat and do it the quick way. Um, and now I'll do another git status, and I've added those lines in. If I do another git diff uh, staged, I can see that yes, those are ready to go in. And then I can add them back in with a git commit. And uh, let's throw a message of added two to five. And there enough. All right, let's take a look at git reset hard. So I'll do a, so I will do a git log again. And here you can see I've, all of these changes have now been made in two commits. But let's say I just want to get rid of all of this and just go back to this is line one. Again, I will copy that SHA and I'll do a git reset hard and add it to that SHA. And this time you'll notice in the file itself, those changes disappeared. And head is now pointing at that commit. If I do a git status, there's nothing to commit. There's all those changes simply vanished. So to add them back in, I would need to go and retype those lines. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna add line six, even though that's not actually line six. And make a save there, and I can do a git status. And I can see that, yes, I have indeed changed that file. It's been modified, it's been saved, but it's not been added yet. So I can go ahead and do a git add, and let's do it properly this time, feature JS. And now I can do another git status, and sure enough, I see um, it's been staged. But wait a minute, that's not line six. I made an error here. I just need to get rid of it. So I can do a git reset, dash dash hard, and it will get rid of all of those changes. Again, if I do a git status, it will show me, well, there's nothing to commit. That's the difference between the modes. Now let's go ahead and take a look at an example over in Git Crack and Client. So here I am in Git Crack and Client, and you can see I'm working in the same file. Uh, this time I have added lines one, two, three, four, and five in a few different steps here. Um, so if I wanted to a git reset back to say the previous commit, I could go and do a git reset, and here it gives me all three options. So let's do a git reset soft, and sure enough, I now have a staged file that adds in line five, that is staged. Very simple, I can go modify anything else in this directory I want to, and simply add it in and make that commit again. One of the nice things about Gitkraken is if I realize, hey, I didn't actually wanna do that, I have an undo button, and then go right back to where I left off. Let me move my head a little bit so you can see the undo successful message there. So let's say I wanted to move all the way back to where I added line two, I can do again a reset to, let's say mixed this time, and all of those changes, I can actually go see, that's where I added lines three, four, and five. Those are now unstaged. I can modify this file as I need to, make other changes to the directory as I need to do, and add them again. Well, let's go ahead and just restage and recommit all of those. So this is line three through five. And just like that, I'll make that new change. Let's say I don't want lines three through five at all, and I'm never gonna want those. I realized that was probably not the right idea. I can go back and do a git reset hard to discard all the changes from that latest commit. And now when I look in there, well, there's line two added in. And I can go forward from there. Let's say I work in this file, let's edit the file, and now I'm changing to uh, this is line three and I do a save and I realize like, ah, I really don't need that here. I can right mouse click 
and discard my changes over here. It does the same as a git reset hard. It's just a little bit safer. Speaking of safer, it does give me this additional step that yes, I do want to discard changes, but I realized after the fact like, oh no, I actually didn't want to do that. I have an undo button that will bring me right back to that previous state where I had committed those changes in the first place. Well, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you learned something about Git Reset, and I hope you're able to better leverage it in your workflows.